good morning. So last night turned into a bit of a fiasco. So me and my brother went at Epcot riding Gardens of the Galaxy, walking around a little bit before Epcot closed. Meanwhile, back at the cabin, <laughs> my mom and dad were trying to get a frog out of our cabin that got in when they opened the door. But they finally did, they got the frog out. But later when I got back and I went to take Kylo out to walk him before bed, we noticed a ton of frogs on our cabin, like literally on the doors, like on the wall, on the window. I mean, there were a ton. And I think it's because our cabin was right next to a really swampy area. It was like the first cabin in the loop. So it was close to kind of the road where there's a little bit more of a ditch, kind of a swampy area. So we called the front desk again and we told them, you know, we were here in May and it wasn't a problem. Of course, it probably wasn't like frog season or whatever, but still. They asked what cabin we were in in May and we told them, I looked at my phone for that confirmation of our room number and we were like, it was 2323 in a different loop. And the front desk was like, well, would you like to, would you rather stay there? So we said, yes, uh, moved all of our stuff from the cabin that we were in into our new cabin, which is the same cabin that we were in in May, which is funny, but we do like that cabin's location, I think a lot better. It's more of a grassy area, not nearly as wet and swampy as the other cabin. So I have yet to see any frogs there, thankfully. So that was a chaotic night. Oh, but in, in all the madness, the front desk saw that I had a park reservation today. So they gave me Genie Plus on my app, which if you don't know, Genie Plus is kind of like Disney World's new fast pass system. So you can book lightning lanes. So you basically get to skip the line at the rides. Um, but of course you normally have to pay for it, but they gave me it for free and all of that fiasco. So. I guess that's the one good thing that came out of this. So I guess I'll head to Hollywood Studios later and get some stuff done there. I don't want to go too crazy though because tonight I have something exciting coming up. So stay tuned. All right, we've made it to Hollywood Studios. I just got dropped off at Rideshare by my ride. Um, a little bit of bad news. So this morning I bought an individual lightning lane for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, which is a really popular, really cool ride. And here comes the bad news. It's been down all morning. It's currently 1017. I have a lightning lane for Swinky Dog Dash at 11. Um, I've never ridden Slinky Dog Dash before, actually, fun fact, so I'm really excited to try that, but we'll have to see if Rise comes back up. I hope it does, since I actually pay for it, but we'll see. Well, hi! Did you find your sister yet? Uh, well, we're still kind of looking for her. What's this? What's happening? 
update um, the frozen sing-along was just about to start when I was walking by it so I hopped in that it's about a 30 minute show really cute retelling of frozen and by the time that was done it was time to book another lightning lane so I got rock and roller coaster at like 11 30 I think so that worked out now it's time for my slinky dog lightning lane. I'm walking there now into Toy Story Land. Slinky dog dashing. It was actually really fun. I would compare it to be like Barnstormer or Big Thunder Mountain at Magic Kingdom. It was really cute. Um, I am grateful that I got basically a free lightning lane for it because I would not want to wait in this 75 minute line in the heat for that. But it was really fun. I'm glad I did it. Now I'm on my way to Rock and Roller Coaster for that lightning lane. It starts in one minute, so doing good. Plot twist. I was on my way to Rock and Roller Coaster for my lightning lane. Oh, we're having a fall picnic. Okay, anyways, like I was saying, I was walking up to Rock and Roller Coaster and it was down. So, I already got an experience redemption, which I don't really know how this works. This is my first time using Genie Plus. I miss the old Fast Pass days. Things were just easier. I feel like I've watched so many videos about this Genie Plus and how to use it and everything. And it's just, so complicated. So I'm gonna go over to Toy Story Mania right now to see if I can use that redemption there now because that was like my next choice. And I'll just say forget about Rock and Roller Coaster, it's fine. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm headed to Alien Swirling Saucers, which is kind of like mad tea party teacups. I feel like it gets a bad rap, but I remember enjoying it.
so now it is just a few minutes away from my lightning lane for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Last time I checked, it was open, up and running. Let's pray it stays that way. securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. We Now for our cold brew. 